Welcome to our tutorial on setting up a site-to-site -site IPsec VPN between two FortiGate firewalls. However, the FortiGate at Site A will be using a loopback interface as its VPN local gateway interface instead of the interface facing the ISP. The FortiGate at Site A has a loopback interface with IP address 192.168.100.1. One prerequisite is that the loopback interface IP address needs to be reachable from the FortiGate at Site B. One advantage of using a loopback interface as the local gateway instead of an outside-facing interface is that you can always change the FortiGate's WAN interface IP without affecting your VPN configuration at both ends. You can even have multiple ISPs. Before we begin with the configuration, Let's confirm loopback 0 on FortiGate A is reachable from FortiGate B. Now let's proceed with our configuration. We will start with the IPsec VPN tunnel configuration on FortiGate B. Enter a name for the VPN. Note that the remote gateway IP address will be that of the loopback 0 interface on FortiGate A. Enter the pre-shared key. We will use IKE version 2. Choose the required phase 1 proposals. We do not recommend the use of DES and SHA-1 in a production environment. Enter the local and remote addresses for the encryption domain. Optionally, enable auto negotiate. We are done with the IPsec VPN tunnel configuration. Next is static routes. The purpose of the black hole route is to ensure that when the IPsec tunnel is down, Traffic to the remote end is silently dropped, instead of using a default route on the FortiGate. Configure firewall policies to allow traffic between sites A and B over the IPsec VPN tunnel. For bidirectional flow, we will configure two firewall rules, one for inbound traffic, and the other for outbound traffic. Disable NAT. Let's configure FortiGate A. The local VPN gateway interface will be the loopback interface. Aside from the pre-shared key, both phase 1 and phase 2 parameters must match on both gateways. For the phase 2 selectors, the local and remote addresses should be the reverse of what was entered on the remote peer.
Finally, on FortiGate A, one additional firewall policy ought to be created to allow IKE traffic from the outside interface to the loopback zero interface. This firewall policy is required so that FortiGate B can initiate an IPsec tunnel into Riki. We are done with the configurations at both ends, and so we will proceed with testing. The tunnel is up already. Connectivity via the IPsec tunnel is successful. Let's check the IPsec VPN tunnel details from the CLI. Congratulations! You have successfully configured a site-to-site -site IPsec VPN using a loopback interface on one FortiGate. Thanks for watching our tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. See you next time!